Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and welcome back to another Icarus mission video. Today we're going to be covering the mission Cleanup Extermination. Now before you drop in, if possible, we recommend that you bring the exotic armor since you will be traveling through the arctic biome and this will save you a lot of time from having to craft fur armor. You will also need a tier 2 knife, so if you can bring one from the workshop that would be absolutely amazing and save you once again even more time. Once you are ready, go ahead and drop in. Now that you're in the mission, the first thing you will want to do is go ahead and head down to this cave since it's near a lake and you will want to fill up your water canteen anyway so we might as well head that direction. We recommend you first and foremost build a very small base and craft yourself a crafting bench so that you can make a better bow as well as some flint arrows for your journey. All you will need in the cave nearby is going to be the iron for the flint arrows and nothing else. Before heading out, make sure you have roughly 10 wooden beams, not thatch beams, a 2x2 wooden structure, once again not thatch, 3 regular bows, not thatch, fur armor or better, 200 plus flint arrows, along with 1 to 200 stone arrows, a tier 2 knife, a bedroll, a campfire, some fuel for your campfire, plenty of oxygen, water, and food. Once you have all of that prepared and in your inventory, it's going to be roughly a 10 to 20 minute run based on which food buffs you have and how many animals you encounter along the way as well as which talent points you're specced into in your move speed in order to get to the objective. Now once you get close to the mission objective, ensure that you take precautions as the mammoth boss you are about to fight is extremely strong. We recommend that you build a 1x1 hut and place a bedroll inside, then set your spawn point before attempting to fight him at all. You will want to try and aggro the boss from as far as possible and then run away until he leashes back so that you can can find the closest distance to him without being within his reach. Once you do find that distance, we recommend that you build up some pillars and then shoot down onto him as well as wolves until he dies. If you don't know how to turn your pillars like you're seeing in the video here, all you need to do is hold R down when you have the pillars in your hand and then select the different angles. You can place a small regular structure if you really want to on top, just be careful as all non-pillar structures will start to collect snow and eventually cave in, so you might have to pick up and replace the blocks pretty consistently. After you eventually burn him down, make sure to skin and loot him, as once you're done, you will need to collect his tusk before heading back to your drop pod. Now from this point, you can either run all the way back, or simply stop by your local pit, located here in H8, and stand in this exact spot, and then use the unstuck button in the escape menu to teleport yourself back to the drop pod. If this doesn't work, just try a couple more times and you should eventually get it. Fair warning for you guys watching this video in the distant future, the unstuck bug and the leashing of the boss may no longer work, and if that's the case, the strategy for dealing with the boss is going to have to change as well, so we may be making another video on that, so make sure to check it out on our channel if that has already happened. Otherwise, be sure to check the comments down below so that you know if there is a change to him, how you can deal with him if we don't have the video out. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Game Advisor. If you like this content and want to see more content like it, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.